fire in God's hands in the name of Jesus. I'll take my reading from 2 Chronicles chapter 18. We'll start reading from the King James, New King James Version. Let's start reading from New King James Version. And we are going to be praying a prayer today. And the title of that message and prayer is that I will fulfill my destiny. Let somebody pray it with me. Say in the name of Jesus, I will fulfill my destiny. If you know that your prayer, say it louder. Say in the name of Jesus, I will fulfill my destiny. For the third time prophesy, say in the name of Jesus, I shall Jonathan. I will fulfill my destiny. So it will be for you in Jesus' mighty name. Now, let's start reading from verse number one. Put it on the screen to aid us to be very fast. The New King James Version, we're going to read. One, to go. Jehoshaphat had riches and honor in abundance. And by marriage, he allied himself with Ahab. Now, this story we are going to draw from today is between two kings. This, the, first king is called, the first king is called Jehoshaphat. Let somebody say Jehoshaphat. Now, the second king is called who? Ahab. Jehoshaphat was the king of Judah. Ahab was the king of Israel. And the Bible says, Jehoshaphat had riches and honor in abundance. But there is a but in his life. The Bible says, and by marriage, actually, Jehoshaphat allowed his son to marry the daughter of Ahab. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, and by marriage, he allied himself with Ahab. I pray. Every alliance that will truncate your destiny, may God of Israel pull you out from it. I thought the amen would be better. I, I say every alliance that you may have found yourself in, that may want to truncate your destiny, the Lord God of Israel will pull you out from it in the name of Jesus. Everything was going on. The Bible says that Jehoshaphat had riches and honor. How? In abundance. God has blessed him. God has settled him. In fact, Jehoshaphat is one of the kings there that ended well. If not for one or two of these stories that happened for his life, everything was going on smoothly. The Bible says he had riches and honor in abundance, but by marrying, he allied himself. And you know, when you are allied with somebody, you have to go and visit the, visit the person. Hallelujah. Many people have found themselves in wrong relationship, wrong association. Every wrong relationship, wrong friendship, wrong companionship, wrong partner. Any ship that you are in that want to take you into a wrong destination. May God pull you out in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, every association, every alliance that want to truncate my destiny. Oh, God, pull me out. Pray one minute. 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 Talk to the Lord. 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 Rebazo kapura manish kata baruna zo prede katona bontes kata. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You know, in the in the secular, they used to say your network will determine your net worth. Now, the tip kind of people you are networking with will tell me what will happen in your life. The kind of people you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are joining hands with will determine. Hosea chapter 7, verse 8 and 9. Hosea 7, 8 and 9. The Bible talks about Ephraim. He said Ephraim has mixed himself with stranger. He said Ephraim is like a cake that is not turned. He said Ephraim, his strength has been devoured and he didn't know it. If you allow stranger to come into your life, if you allied yourself with evil people, it will devour your strength. I pray that will not be your point in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 52 verse 11. He said, depart, depart. He said, go out from there. Touch no unclean thing. You will bear the vessel of the Lord. Number one, if you must fulfill your destiny is that you must watch your association. What did I say? Let me preach to your neighbor. Say, if you must fulfill your destiny, you must watch your association. Now, preach to somebody else on the other side. Say, if you must fulfill your destiny, you must watch your association. Unfortunately for Jehoshaphat, go back to verse number one. Unfortunately for Jehoshaphat, even though everything was going on well for him, he had riches and honor in abundance like many of us do. He was well settled. But the Bible says the, the but in his life is that he made alliance with who? With Ahab. Now, when you make alliance with people, you have to visit the people. You have to relate with people. So in verse number two, Jehoshaphat took a journey and began to visit Ahab. And the Bible says after some years, he went down to visit Ahab in Samaria. 
and he had killed sheep and oxen in abundance for him and the people, his entourage that came with him and persuaded him to go up with him to where? Ramoth Gilead. You will enjoy this story more if you read the message version. So go back to message version and let's start from verse number one. If you go to message version, verse number one, you discover the Bible says, even though, let somebody say even though, even though Jehoshaphat was very rich and much honored. That means he didn't have any cause to relate with him. He didn't have anything to look for. There are many of us that God has settled. Many of God, God has helped our life so far. But you find yourself in wrong association. I pray any wrong association, God will pull you out. Any wrong relationship, God will pull you out. Say my father one more time. Every evil association that will truncate my destiny, pull me out, oh God. And that's what God will do for you in Jesus' name. Now, if you continue to read that story, the Bible says, even though that God has honored him, he made a marriage alliance with Ahab of Israel. In verse number two, the Bible says, sometimes later, I want us to read this portion together carefully. One, to go, everybody. So. Ahab celebrated his visit with a feast, a huge baby. Hold on. God, the Bible described this feast. That's why I said when you go to the message version, you understand this story very well. It's coming. The Bible says that Ahab celebrated with what? A feast. And you know a feast is not just one plate and one bowl. No. It's a feast. And with everybody that came with him. And he said a huge barbecue. A huge barbecue. Say it after me. A huge barbecue. One more time. Say it. A huge. I pray you will not eat wrong barbecue. You will not eat evil barbecue. Listen, he celebrated his visit with a huge barbecue. Go back to the scripture. And he, he went further and described the barbecue. Amen? Amen? Watch it if you are fasting now. Amen? He said, a huge barbecue with all the lamb and beef. That means all those things that you like. All the common, all the fish, all the... Are you there with me this morning? All of them were present there. And... And he gave him and all his entourage. Praise the Lord. A huge barbecue. He said, all that you can eat. But let's now read it carefully. Verse number three. He said, but Ahab. Go ahead, sir. But Ahab had a hidden agenda. That means the huge barbecue. That means all the lamb and the beef. That means all that he was eating. There was a hidden agenda. And the eating agenda was for him to support him to attack who? Ramoth Gilead. What actually is happening that Ahab has his own battle to fight. He saw this man of God because Jehoshaphat is favored of God. He said, I know God is with this man. Let me use food to entice him. He entice him so that he can follow him to Ramoth Gilead. But I want to give you a, let's pause a minute. Let's look at the CV of Ahab. Amen. So that we can understand this huge barbecue. How many of us remember Ahab very well? Ahab has a beautiful wife. I don't know if you remember his name. Her name. What's the name of Ahab's wife? Jezebel. Now, one day, Ahab came from, from uh, Houghton, and Ahab was looking down cast, and Jezebel said, because Jezebel was actually the one ruling, Jezebel said, oh God, give, give report of today's kingdom. What happened? He said, ah, I don't know what happened today. Uh, 400 of the prophet, they killed the prophet. I don't know what this man called Elijah. He said, you are there, and you are there, and you call yourself a king. And Jezebel said, if that man's head remain on him today, I am not Jezebel. And you remember what happened to the man of God, Elijah. The man of God that carried fire. The man of God that called that rain and said there would not be rain. That man ran for his life. That's who Jezebel is. At another day, Ahab came. He said, why are you looking so downcast, you king? He said, I have won this field and this man is not going to give it to me. And he's not going to do this. I want this vineyard. And Jezebel said, it's in my vineyard. Sit down. I'm going to get it for you. Did Jezebel got it for him or not? He got it for him. I'm giving you the CV of Ahab's family. Now, Jehoshaphat was eating, and he was eating huge barbecue. Somebody must prepare, must have prepared the huge barbecue. Who do you who do you think prepared the food? May you not eat Jezebelic food. Raise your hand to heaven. Say, my father, every evil association, every wrong alliance. Every wrong partnership, every wrong friendship, every wrong relationship, every wrong ship that I may find myself in. Oh God, pull me out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jehoshaphat ate evil barbecue. That food was meant actually to silence him spiritually. 
that food was meant so that he would lose his sense of spirituality. He wouldn't know. You will see as we progress. He wouldn't know what he's doing again. Number two. What's my number one? If you must fulfill your destiny, watch. Watch what? Watch what? Number two. Watch what you eat. What did I say? Let me preach to your neighbor. Say, my neighbor, watch what you eat. Listen, I want you to listen carefully to this. And when I say watch what you eat, I'm not talking about only physical food. I'm also talking about spiritual food. Things you allow into your system. Things that you listen to. Things you join them on the internet to contribute to. Things that you argue with your pastor and say, oh, what my pastor is preaching. Watch what you eat. Revelation chapter 2, verse number 20, put it on the screen. The Bible says, it's in those times, you are allowing that evil teacher to go on the pulpit and begin to teach, to teach. Now, read it. let's read it together. I want to go. He said, nevertheless, I have few things against you because you allowed that woman Jezebel who caused herself a prophetess to teach and seduce my servant to commit sexual immorality and to eat things sacrificed to idols. Many of us with all that you are listening to on the pulpit, with all the daddy Gio is preaching, with all the pastor Kyle Deputy is preaching, some of us will still go and look at and, and eat evil food into our system. I pray every contamination in your spirit today as you shout amen God will send them out I said, God, we send them out. I said, God, we send them out. Uh, it's a pity my time is so constrained this morning, but just make sure that you watch what you eat. Let's move forward because of our time. The Bible says, hey, Abad and Edidi and Jedi. And I'm praying once again, 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 every Indian agenda of the enemy for you and your family, may it be exposed in Jesus' name. I say, may it be exposed in Jesus' name. Now, let's progress in verse number four. Verse number four, quickly. Verse number four, quickly. Uh, we can return to our new King James Version now. I just wanted us to see that in the message version. Now, when he said, when he said, let's go to Ramoth Gilead, in verse number four, something in, something Jehoshaphat was telling him, there's something that is not right. Something in him was saying that this, I must, I must ask God for direction and Jehoshaphat asked a question in verse number four. He said, can we inquire from the law? Jehoshaphat said, but before we do anything, can we ask God for guidance? Number three, if you must fulfill your destiny. What's my number one? What's my number two? What's my number three? Ask God for guidance. You may know the way. Joshua is already a king. He has been going to battles, but something in him told him that he should ask God for guidance. Shall we? Then the, the question came. He said, shall we go to Ramah Gilead? Shall we go and pursue them? Shall we go and fight them? He said, can we ask of the Lord? Do you know what happened? You can help me with the scripture as I'm just going on because of my time. Verse number five. Joshua said, okay, you want to ask for the Lord? He said, we need a prophet. He said, ah, is it prophet you are looking for? We have them plenty here. And they gathered in verse number five. How many prophets did they gather for Jehoshaphat? 400. He said, shall we go to Ramagilia? Professor, professor. And they professor. And they said, go. God will be with you. Go. Go with. But well, excuse me, this prophet. What do you think they have been eating? I pray, I pray that, that is to you, 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 you, to you, to you, to you, to you, to you, Everyone on the altar of remembrance, I'd like you to raise your voice and begin to give God praise. If you can hear my voice, type hallelujah, shout hallelujah, wave hallelujah, give him praise, give him worship. Give him the worship that is due to his name. Go ahead and adore him. Glorify his holy name and say thank you, Jesus. Can somebody type thank you, Jesus? Can somebody type thank you, Jesus? Can somebody type thank you, Jesus? Type thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you. He's hearing you. Type it on Facebook, on YouTube. Thank you, Jesus. 
Say thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say thank you. Can you begin to call him beautiful names? For some of you, as being your defender, type it. Say, Lord, I thank you. You are my defender. For so some of you, he was your advocate. Say, my advocate. Oh, the lifter of my head. Oh, my friend, my savior, my companion. Oh, he has been your crown. For some of you, he has been your protector. Begin to call him beautiful names. Beautiful names. Beauty. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Beautiful names. Beautiful names. Beautiful names. Tell him he's the rose of Sharon. Tell him he's the lily of the valley. Tell him. Tell him he's the rose of Sharon. The lily of the valley. The Lord that never changes. Oh, begin to give him praise. Give him praise that is due to his name. Listen, look at how the Bible says. He said, let the people praise me. Let the people praise me. Then the earth will yield an increase. Go ahead and give him praise. Then the earth will yield an increase. Go ahead and worship him. 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 Somebody join us to type it. Thank you, Jesus. That's all the Lord wants from you. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You are just joining us now. God brought you here for a reason. Today, what your hanging blessing is about to be released. So go ahead and join us. Say thank you, Jesus. 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 Go Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Begin to call him that beautiful name, sir. Oh, he's the lifter of your head. He's your defender. For some of you, has been your friend, your your healer. For some of you, was your alpha and your omega. You started that project and you finished it. Go ahead. Or for some of you, you started a project and you are looking to finish. So call him. Oh, you are my alpha and you are my omega. Go ahead, go ahead and tell him. He's the Lord that was, who is, and is to come. He's the governor among the nations. Oh, he's the king above all. Go ahead and thank him. 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 Give him praise. 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 We have one more minute to do this. So do it from the depth of your heart. In any language that you want, give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Call him wonderful names. Wonderful. Coin the name out of what he has done for you. Look at this seventh one. Look back and see the testimony. Look at the time you were down. He lifted you up. The time that you were you were hungry, he fed you. The time that you didn't know what to do he directed your step oh go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead give him praise give him praise my friend give him praise lord we worship you we thank you thank you for your faithfulness thank you for your loving kindness don't waste it don't waste the one minute don't waste it Ibaruna Maya Katoska. Some people are already sending the links to their friend. You too do that. Send the link to your friend. Share it. Share it. Share it. Let him hear you. The Bible says, he says, He that praises me glorifies me. Unto him that others his conversation are right, will I show my salvation. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Go ahead and send the link. Invite somebody. Beckon on somebody to come. To come. Be benevolent enough to share the link. Check the, the, the red button. If you are not subscribed, do that. Like it. Whatever you need to do as we get started. Do it right now. And give him praise. Give him praise. Can you now take a personal song and begin to worship him? Give it, Take a personal song and begin to worship him for one minute. A personal song, a personal song that captures what he had done for you this month. A personal song that summarizes what he has done for you. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Casting crown, bowing down. All you need to do, do it before the Lord God of Israel. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 30 more seconds. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Remember when you were caught out to shame. Remember when you didn't know what to do. Remember when you were stuck. You remember when you were at an impasse. Remember when somebody in the place of your work made up their mind they are going to bring you down. See how they failed woefully. Remember the agenda of the enemy for you, how he didn't come to pass. Remember, remember, remember your colleague locked up in the hospital. Remember, remember those that have lo- less, lost their mentality, their sanity, they've lost it. Remember, remember, look back, look back, look back at all the celebrations in your home this month. Look back and give him praise, 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 give him, praise, give him worship. Lord, we 
thank you. We thank you for this altar of remembrance every weekend. We come together to pray. We come together for all the testimonies that we have been harvesting every weekend. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We give you praise. We worship you. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Shout the threefold amen, my friend. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. May your sacrifices be accepted. The Lord, we accept your sacrifice of praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. We are, we are diving deep into the prayers right now. Now, share it on your status, on your link, whatever. Well, you know what to do. You know what to do to connect other people to this blessing. The Lord has given us a word and said that today our blessing is <laughs> our blessings are going to be released. Today is very, very important. I'd like you to make up your mind to pray. The few minutes, very few minutes we're going to be spending together. Please let it make sense. Don't just waste your data. Don't just waste your time. I'd like you to pray from the depth of your heart. I'd, I'd like you to be intentional. If you need to get off that bed, get off that chair, whatever you need to do, carry your device in your hand, you're going to be praying. You're going to be holding the hands of the altar. You're going to be touching the heavens. And I pray the God of Israel will visit you in Jesus' name. We pray. Thank you for joining the altar of remembrance again this weekend. We are here every weekend. For some, it's midnight where they are, 2 a.m., some 7 a.m. Wherever you are connecting from, people connecting from different nations. Listen, God of heaven will visit you in Jesus' mighty name. And what are we praying about today? You saw it on the thumbnail. My blessings are released. Somebody join me to say it's a prophetic word. Say my blessings are released. Say it, my brother. Say it. You need it. Say my blessings are are released okay if you know anyone on the line now that you know any of your blessing is hanging somewhere what is due to you not yet to be not yet in your hands hanging somewhere then you must say this with me say my blessings are released oh join me to say it mommy say it say my blessings are released my blessings are released as you are saying it in the name of jesus from the left from the right from the center they are released to you every corner where they are they are released to you somebody say join me to say it again type it type it in the chat type it say my blessings are released it's a commandment say it say it say it say it. it's a declaration it's a prophetic utterance type it say it say my blessings are released as you're saying it they are released to you they are released to you they are released to you they are released mommy say amen now they are released to you you are released to you uncle say amen they are released to you released to your family released to you released to you released to you from the north released from the east released people you know released people you don't know released everyone is released under the earth released your blessings they are released somebody you are just joining us now join us to type it type it say my blessings are released. If that's the only thing you've come here to do, type it. It's prophetic. Say, my blessings are released. Oh, you're not, you know, yeah, use your name now. Use your name. Use your name. Sheon Jonathan's blessings are released. Use your name. Your name. Your name. Say, Sheon Jonathan's blessings are released. It's released. Now, use your family name now. You say, Jonathan's family's blessings are released. They are released. They are released. Use your family name now. Say, Jonathan's family blessings blessings are released your academic blessing your spiritual blessings your financial blessings released 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 no longer delay in jesus name we pray somebody shout a threefold amen there shout it a threefold amen there shout it a threefold amen 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 in the name of Jesus. Listen, i like you to bring to fore today that pressing issue where the shoe is pinching, that thing that you have been longing for, that offer letter you are waiting for, the key you are longing for, the pregnancy you are looking for, the husband that should propose to you to marry you, the house you want to build, now that, that spiritual platform you want to cl climb. i like you to bring it to fore as we pray this prayer today because your blessings are released in Jesus' mighty name. Listen, what, what are the things you are looking forward to today? Look at your screen i put it there for your convenience number one you're going to be stepping into the prepared blessing oh somebody is not hearing me no you are going to be stepping into the prepared is on your screen look at it you are going to be stepping into prepared blessing there's a blessing that is prepared there's a blessing that is arranged there's a blessing that uh, that has been that has been programmed for you you are going to be stepping into 
into prepared blessing. Somebody say it. I am stepping into prepared blessing. Please don't be too proud to say it. Say it loud. Say I am stepping into prepared blessing. My church stepping into prepared blessing. My home stepping into prepared blessing. Say it one more time. I am stepping into prepared blessing. Listen, number two, what, what is it that God is going to be doing for you as you pray this prayer today? You are going to be receiving what is due to you. Say, I am receiving what is due to me. What is due to me. What has been allocated from heaven to you that is yet to be in your hands. What is around you but yet to be in your hands. And I am receiving what is due to me. Somebody professor, I am receiving what is due to me. The miracle that is labored with your name, you are receiving it in Jesus' name. You are receiving it in Jesus' name. And listen, it's not just going to be only physical. Number three, you are going to begin to function in unusual grace. Unusual. Unusual grace. The prepared blessing is coming upon you in the name of Jesus. I pray for everyone hearing me. You are hearing the sound of my voice now or you listen to this later. I pray step into prepared blessing. I say amen now. I say step into prepared blessing. Okay, I prophesy to your family as a whole. I say step into prepared blessing. Step into prepared blessing. What is due to you, receive. What is due to you, receive. The promotion due to you, receive. You have spent so many years on that seat. You are due for promotion. You are due for advancement. You are due for lifting. Look at the years of experience that you have. You are due. You are due. You are due. Whatever is due to you, receive. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. You have been serving God for so long. Receive it now. You have been enduring for so long. You have been applying. Applying for so long. It is due to you. I say receive it now. Somebody say what is due to me. I receive it. It is very simple to say. Professor, what is due to me. I receive it now. What is due to me. I receive it now. What is due to me. I receive it now. Receive it. I say receive it. I say receive it. I say receive it, receive it, receive it. What is due to your husband, due to your wife, due to your children? Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. What is due to Sheon Jonathan, Sheon Jonathan? Receive now, receive now, receive now in the name of Jesus. Oh, you are due for promotion. Oh, you are due for a good wife. You are due for a good husband. You are due to be pregnant. You are due to get that offer letter. You are due for a house. What are you due for? Say it, say it, say it, say it, say it, say it. Say you are due for healing. You are due for that blessing. You are due for it. Receive. I say receive. I say receive. I say receive. I say receive in the name of Jesus. Somebody join me to say it again. I am stepping in. To prepared blessing. One more time. I am stepping into prepared blessing. Listen, there is a prepared blessing what God has arranged and no devil, no demon, no demon can stand in your way. Look at how Ephesians says it. Verse 1, chapter 1, verse 11. Ephesians 1, 1, 1. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 11. He said, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who walketh all things after the cancel of his own will is on your screen. Look at it. He said, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance. There's an inheritance that you have obtained that has been predestined, that has been arranged, that is labored with your name. Oh, that it has it has been proposed, proposed of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. There's an arrangement that the heaven is had for you. There's a program in the heavens for you. There's an arrangement of God for you. What is due for you in whom also we have obtained an inheritance. Raise your voice. Uh, my spiritual inheritance I receive. My spiritual inheritance I receive. What has been predestined that for me and my children, I receive. The arrangement of God for me, I receive. The program of God for me, I receive. In the name of Jesus, uh, I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. Professor, I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. What God has programmed for me, what God has arranged for me, what God has allocated for me, I receive in the name of Jesus. I receive. I receive in the name of Jesus. I receive in the name of Jesus. I am speaking to someone by the Spirit right now. They are omitting you in the list. I am seeing it now. They are oh, they are drawing up a list and they are omitting you. Oh, mercy is bringing you back into that list. I don't know who that person is. You are listening to me right now. They are omitting you in a list. They are drawing up a list and they are omitting your name. The mercy of God is bringing you back into that list. Oh, this new week 
that will step into you are going to harvest your testimony you are coming back here with your testimony somebody say i received that say it say i received that i see they are drawing a list and they are omitting your name they are bringing you back into that list in the name of jesus oh because what is due to you you must get it in the name of jesus listen we want to now fight we want to fight listen what did i say we want to fight what did i say sir we want to fight the kingdom of god suffers violence only the violent will take it by force listen what is due to you you are going to receive you know the scripture very well we're going to read it again and use it to pray in the book of daniel daniel chapter 10 look at your screen is displayed there daniel chapter 10 daniel 10 verse 12 to 13 he said do not be afraid daniel since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before your god your words were heard listen look at the screen the first day when you began to pray your words were heard the prayer there are some prayers that we have prayed and we were heard it was not as if they didn't hear it in heaven it was not as if god is deaf to those prayers he said and i have come in response to them no, the prayers were heard the the, the the response was coming the transmission protocol did not fail oh the, there was an input but the output was delayed listen he said but the prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me 21 days you know the story you want to speak against every prince of power Share. that's what we are about to pray about listen he said then michael one of the chief princes came to help me because i was detained there with the king of Persia. so this angel was bringing back the miracle but the prince of Persia will lead him on the way and the miracle of daniel did not get to his hands listen the miracle was released in heaven it was initiated in heaven it was released from the source but it didn't get to the target so in between the blessing was angry that is what we want to focus now every hanging blessing blessings that have been released blessings that have been allocated blessings that have been approved but yet into yet to be in my hands whether by demonic arrangement whether by my own prayerlessness whether by my own carelessness i don't want to know any blessing that is hanging somebody shout after me say my hanging blessing oh say it say it say my hanging blessing say it say my hanging blessing locate me now let it be louder than that say my hanging blessing locate me now somebody pray my hanging blessing locate me now somebody pray this prayer my hanging blessing locate me locate me begin to pray begin to pray call them forth some of you you know the blessing you know i know i know i know what is due to me that is still hanging it's hanging the hands of my destiny helper it's hanging the hands of the people that should approve me my hanging blessing locate me my hanging blessing locate me locate me locate me locate me in the name of jesus can you begin to pray like angel michael fought you are going to pray have all the battle in the heavenlies uh, let it be one in my favor battle in the heavenlies around my blessing let it be one in my favor the angels convey my blessing locate me somebody join me to pray these prayers the angels convey my blessing locate me let the battle be won in my favor let the battle be won in my favor let the battle be won in my favor in the name of jesus let the battle be won in my favor i bind the strong man over my blessing somebody say say i bind the strong man over my blessing i bind the strong man over my blessing over my miracle whoever is sitting on my miracle sitting on my testimony sitting on my good news sitting on my good news every power sitting on my good news i unseat you now i unseat you now in the name of jesus 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 in in the name of Jesus, angel of blessing, locate me, locate me, locate me, locate me, locate me. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray this prayer very well from the depth of your heart. In Galusa Pradika Ruja Pladeka Talabada, every hanging blessing, all my hanging blessing, all my hanging blessing, be released, be released. Somebody shout, be released. Everybody type it, say, be released in Jesus' name. Type it, say, be released in Jesus' name. Type it in the chat, say, be released released in jesus name type it say be released in jesus name join me to type it is your blessing we are addressing now say be released in jesus name type it 
Say, be released in Jesus' name. Say, be released in Jesus' name. 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 Every power chasing my blessing away from me, I paralyze you now. I paralyze you now. I paralyze you now. I paralyze you now. Every power chasing my blessing from me, chasing my miracle away from me, chasing my money away from me, every power chasing my promotion away from me, I paralyze you now. I paralyze you now. Somebody shout again. Say, be released. Join us to type it now on YouTube, on Facebook. Join us to type it. Say, be released in Jesus' name. Type it. Say, be released in Jesus' name. Type it. Type it. Don't just listen to me. On Facebook, on YouTube, type it. Say, be released in Jesus' name. Be released. As you are saying it, have a target in mind. Have a target in mind. Have a target in mind. Join me again. Type it. Say, be released in Jesus' name. Say, be released in Jesus' name. Be released in Jesus' name. Type it on YouTube, on Facebook. Type it. Be released in Jesus' name. Your blessings are being released. Showers of blessings. Showers of blessings. Showers of blessings. Showers of blessings. Coming around you now. Coming around you now. In the name of Jesus, can you pray? Every of my dead blessing that is already dead, Father, revive it. Revive it. While the enemy was sitting on it, some of it has, is still, is dead, is in one corner. Say, Father, revive it. Revive it. Revive my blessing. Revive it. Revive it. Revive it. I take it back. My stolen blessings, I take it back. Say it. My stolen blessings, I take it back. My stolen blessings, I take Take it back, my stolen blessings. I take it back, my stolen blessings. I take it back in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I take it back. Type it. I take it back. I take it back in multiple folds. Begin to take it. Your blessings, your healing, your testimony, your marriage, your settlement. Oh, your money. Take it back. Take it back. Your good health. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. In the name of Jesus, take it back, take it back, take it back. In the name of Jesus, take it back, take it back. In the name of Jesus, take it back. In the name of Jesus, take it back, take it back. In Jesus' name, we pray. I pray your blessing will locate you. Sir, it will locate you. Ma, it will locate you. We are really praying. I want you to continue like that. It will locate you. It will locate you. In the name of Jesus. We're going to go back to that scripture, but we, we move forward. If you go to back, if you go down to verse 20 of that Daniel, we're still reading that Daniel 10. But if you look at verse 20 there, look at verse 20. He said, Then he said, Then said he, Knowest thou wherefore I come unto thee? Do you know why I came to you? He said, And now will I return to fight with the prince of Persia. And when I'm gone forth, lo, the prince of Greece shall come. Many of us, we know the Prince of Persia. But that same verse, that same chapter in verse 20, talking about the Prince of Greece. We don't even want to know their name, Prince of Persia, Prince of Greece. All you want to address now are every evil power sitting over my blessing. You want to pray it again? I unseat you now in the name of Jesus. Please pray this prayer very well. If you believe in the spiritual, if you believe in the power of God, if you believe that God has commanded us to pray, say every evil power sitting on my blessing, I unseat you now in the name of Jesus. I unseat you now in the name of Jesus. I unseat you now in the name of Jesus. Begin to unseat them. 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 I unseat you now in the name of Jesus. I unseat you now in the name of Jesus. Prince of Persia, Prince of Greece, I unseat you now in the name of Jesus. Oh, any satanic strong man keeping my blessing, I command you to fall. Command you to fall. I command you to fall. I command you to fall in the name of Jesus. I command you to fall. I command you to fall. Begin to unseat them. Begin to unseat them. Unseat them. Begin to unseat them. Begin to unseat them. Begin to unseat them. Begin to unseat them. Unseat them. Pray the prayer very well. From the depth of your heart. Oh, yeah, they're coming to you now. They are coming to you now. The money is coming to you now. Your testimony is coming to you now. Ha. My, uh, my friend is coming to you now. Your blessing is coming. See, I unseat them. Somebody type it. Say, I unseat them. I unseat every evil power sitting on my blessing. I unseat you 
I unseat you in the name of Jesus. Now I unseat you in the name of Jesus. Now I unseat you in the name of Jesus. I unseat you now in the name of Jesus. Oh, every power sitting on the blessing of my ministry. What is due to my ministry? Oh, what is due to my life? Sitting on my promotion, sitting on my offer letter, sitting on my promotion, sitting on my good news, sitting on my house, sitting on my money. I unseat you now. Somebody say it. Say, I unseat you now. I unseat you. Say it now. Say, I unseat you now. In the name of Jesus, I unseat you now. Command them, command them, command them, command them, command them. You will declare it in and it will come to pass. Command them, command them. Begin to unseat them. The Bible says strangers shall be terrified. They will come out of their hidden places. Every stranger sitting on my blessing, holding forth my blessing, I unseat you now in the name of Jesus. Lose it and let it go. 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 Oh, chains are being broken now. Chains are broken. Chains are being broken now. You are moving forward. I can see advancement in the spirit. I can see testimonies rushing in. Testimonies rushing in. Rushing in. Rushing in. I can see back to back testimony in one household. Back to back. Back to back. Rushing in. Rushing in in the name of Jesus. Rushing in from the place of work. Rushing in testimony in the school school of your child. Rushing in in the place of in, in, in your spouse's work. Rushing in testimony, 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 testimony in the name of Jesus. Prince of Persia, lose your hold. Prince of Greece, lose your hold. Prince of Persia, lose your hold. Prince of Greece, lose your. Say me, say it with me. Prince of Persia, lose your hold. Prince of Greece, lose your hold. Prince of Persia, lose your hold. Prince of Greece, lose your hold. Prince of of Pasha, lose your hold. Prince of Greece, lose your hold. Prince of Pasha, lose your hold. Prince of Greece, lose your hold. Prince of Pasha, lose your hold. Prince of Greece, lose your hold. Prince of Pasha, lose your hold. Prince of Greece, lose your hold in the name of Jesus. Lose your hold in the name of Jesus. Say, it. say, lose your hold in the name of Jesus. Say it. Lose your hold in the name of Jesus. Say it. Lose your hold in the name of Jesus. You are just joining now. God brought you to this platform so that your blessings can be released your age-long blessing blessings that have been delayed released to you released to you in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray shout the seven for the man amen 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 in the name of jesus I declare over everyone hearing the sound of my voice now. Every power that has been sitting on your blessing so far, we unseat them in the name of Jesus. I unseat them in the name of Jesus. I unseat them in the name of Jesus. I unseat them in the name of Jesus. Ah, ah, I will embrace my miracle in the name of Jesus. The gap between me and my miracle is removed now. Oh, somebody help me to say amen. If you are not even saying it for yourself, I said the gap between me and my miracle is removed now. <laughs> that gap that gap between me and my miracle is now removed the gap between me and my blessing is now removed somebody joined me to say it the gap between me and my miracle is now removed the gap between me and my miracle is removed now the gap between me and my miracle is removed now the gap between me and my miracle is removed now it's removed now the gap between me and my miracle is removed now in Jesus' name, you want to begin to now claim your territorial blessing, your geographical blessing. Where you are is different from where I am. You're going to be beginning. You're going to see. You can't just say, "Oh, I sit in Canada and you don't enjoy the blessings of Canada." Oh, I'm in Lagos and you are not enjoying the blessings of that Lagos. I'm in any town whatsoever, even in a village. I'm not enjoying the blessings of that place. There are blessings that people, foreigners, will come and enjoy the blessing. They will tap out of that blessing. So, you want to begin to now call forth your local blessing, where you are. We are praying for anyone that is anywhere to come and locate you, but your local blessing. There are blessings where you are. What did he tell Joshua? Look at it. Let's read it together. Joshua 1.3, what did he say? He said, every place. Somebody join me to say it. Every place, including where you are stepping on now. Every place. Every place. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that shall I have given unto you as I said unto Moses. Somebody say every place. Every place. Every place. Including where you are located now. Every place. Every place. You are working in an institution. You are working in a particular sector. In a particular field. There are blessings in that field. You are living in a particular city. You are hearing me. You are you are living in Highland. You are living in Sweden. You are living in Manchester. Living in London. You are living anywhere you are living. 
you are in Ghana, you are in Accra, anywhere. Listen, there are blessings in that locality. You want to call them forth now. Say in the name of Jesus. So, say in the name of Jesus. I tap into the blessings of my locality. I key into the blessings around me. Every place the sole of my feet has trod now. I key into that blessing. Say I key into that blessing. I came to that begin to obtain what is your own. Begin to obtain what is your own. Begin to obtain what is your own. I call for the blessings of Calgary into my life. I call for the blessings of London into my life. Call it for. I call for the blessings of Kumasi into my life in the name of Jesus. Call for the blessings, the local place where you are. Call it forth. I like you to call it forth. Call it forth. Call it forth. Call it forth. I call for the blessings of Abuja. Call it forth. Call it forth. Call it forth to locate me. To locate me. To I know you are earning salary. That is not enough. There are blessings there. No matter how difficult it is, your blessings are released to you now. Say, I call them forth. I call them forth. I call them forth. I call them forth. I'm in Jamaica. I call for that blessing. You are in Belize. I call for that blessing. You are in Papua New Guinea. I call for the blessings in that locality. I call it forth. I call it forth. In Dallas, I call that blessing. I call it forth. I call it forth. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Begin to call them forth. Begin to call them forth. That blessing. Call it forth. Call them forth. Call them forth. Call them forth. Call them forth. In Oshun State, I call for that blessing. I call it forth. I call it forth. In the name of Jesus, I call it forth. I call it forth. I call it forth. The blessings of the land will not elude me. Somebody type it. Say, the blessings of the land will not elude me. Type it. Type it. Type it. The blessings of this land will not elude me. Type it and receive it. The blessings of this land will not elude me. Type it and receive it. The blessings of this land will not elude me. The blessings of Abel Kuta where I am will not elude me. The blessings of Oshogbo where I am will not elude me. Type it, type it, type it. The blessings of Ibadan will not elude me. It won't elude me. No, it won't elude me. The blessings of Kumasi will not elude me. It will not elude me. The blessings of Lusaka, where I am, will not elude me. Begin to receive it. Receive it for yourself. Receive it for yourself. In the name of Jesus, it will not elude me. It will not elude me. Where I have, where the sole of my feet has touched, I possess that blessing. I possess that blessing. In the name of Jesus, we are stepping to new blessings, stepping to your riches. Say in the name of Jesus, because Jesus died, then you must have your riches. Look at how the Bible says this. It says Second Corinthians eight verse nine. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, that you through his poverty might become rich. I step into that riches that is prepared for me. Somebody say it. I step into that riches that is prepared for me. I step into that riches that is prepared for me. I step into that riches prepared for me. I step step into that riches prepared for me i 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 step into that riches prepared for me somebody step somebody steps somebody step into it step into it step into it i step into that riches prepared for me prepared for me prepared for me i step into it in the name of jesus i key into it in the name of Jesus, I prophesy for everyone hearing me, the blessing of the land will not elude you. Say amen now. The blessing of the land will not elude you. Say amen. The blessing of the land will not elude you. In the name of Jesus, every power that has been holding down your blessing, <laughs> ah, we unseat death. In the name of Jesus. We want to change the dimension of the prayer now. We are trying to unseat the enemy. But another dimension we are going to go now. We are going to ask the hand of God to bring the blessing to you. Somebody say amen. The hand of God we hijack the blessing for you. Oh, Don't forget what we are praying about today. Is that the, my blessings are released. The hand of there's a hand that can bring out the accent from the river. Listen, 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 listen. There's a hand that can bring, that can put coin in the mouth of the fish. There's that invisible hand that can do wonders. There's a hand, there's a hand, there's a hand that can bring forth your blessing. The Bible says of the children of Israel, when they were in Egypt, he said that the Lord said to Moses, he said, now shall you see what I will do to Pharaoh? For with a strong hand shall he let them go. That means Pharaoh did not want to release their blessing. But a strong hand is that hand we're about to call on now. The hand of God. 
you want to call the hand of God. You want to send the hand of God. Listen, listen. The committee where you can go yourself, where they are sitting on your resume, where they are sitting on your contract that you applied for, there is a hand that can go and bring your file out. Are you hearing me? There is a strong hand. Look at it again. It's on your screen for your convenience. He said, he said, now shall you see what I will do to Pharaoh. For with a strong hand shall he let them go. Strong hand. You want to call upon that strong hand. Somebody join me. You want to say, Father, stretch your strong hand to pull out my blessing. He, listen, listen. I'm going to say it again. Father, stretch your strong hand to pull Pull out my blessing for me. There are some fear out that won't allow your blessing to go until they see a strong hand. Say, Father, stretch your strong hand to pull out my blessing for me. Begin to pray now. Father, pull it out. If it's in the sea, if your blessing is under the sea, that strong hand will pull it out. If that blessing is in the coven of witches, the, ble- the, the strong hand will pull it out. If the blessing is even in the hands of your enemy, God will pull it out. Say, Father, stretch your strong hand to pull out my blessings for me. Stretch your son and to pull out some of you you know what you are praying for you know what you are praying for you have applied for something and you have not had back for a long time say father stretch your strong hand to pull my benefit for me stretch your strong hand stretch your strong hand to pull it out for me so father stretch your strong hand to pull out my benefit for me stretch your strong hand to Pull out my miracle for me. Stretch your strong hand to pull out my testimony for me. In the name of Jesus. Please pray this prayer. Pray, pray, pray this prayer. Pray. Maybe you don't understand. I'd like you to read this scripture again and join it together. Read this one. Job chapter 20 verse 15. Popular scripture I like to read a lot. Job 20 verse 15 is on your screen. We are still praying that prayer. He said, He has swallowed down riches and he shall vomit them up again. The things that swallow down your riches, that swallow down your blessing, how come he vomited them? How come he now vomited your riches? There's something that happened. He said, God shall cast them out of his belly. There's a God that can use his strong hand to bring out your riches from the belly where he swallowed into. He said, he has swallowed down riches, those powers, they swallow down riches, this passion, this place of passion, of grace, they swallow down riches, but they must vomit. Somebody said they must vomit. Oh, somebody said, say they must vomit. They must vo-. Somebody say they must vomit. He said, he, they, they, he shall vomit them up again because God shall cast them out of his belly. You want to pray from the depth of your heart. Say in the name of Jesus, Father, stretch your strong hand to pull out my blessing from the belly where it is pull out my blessing some of you the file is under 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 that god need to stretch his hands to pull it out say in the name of jesus father stretch your strong hand to pull out my riches to pull out my healing to pull out my husband to pull out my wife to pull out my testimony stretch your strong hand father stretch your strong hand somebody say say stretch your strong hand to pull out my miracle for me in the name of jesus to pull it out in the mighty name of Jesus to pull it out in the name of Jesus your blessing oh I'm hearing in my spirit somebody that is shaking you are twitching so a part of your body or maybe a family member there I can see somebody twitching 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 the Lord is saying it is stable now the twitching is stopping it's stopping now that unexplainable shaking that is disturbing your health it has stopped now now as I'm speaking now as I'm speaking now the healing has just happened receive it now that healing just happened now receive Receive it now. Let's continue to pray. Say, Father, stretch your strong hand. Your strong hand to pull out my blessing in the name of Jesus. Pull it out towards me. Pull it out in the name of Jesus. Pull it out in the name of Jesus. He has swallowed down riches. He will vomit them. Raise your voice. Say, Father, every power holding my blessing, vomit them now in Jesus' name. Say, it. See, every power holding my blessing, vomit them now in the name of Jesus. Every power holding my blessing, vomit them now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Every blessing that is stolen from me, be vomited now in the name of Jesus. Oh, listen. And when the blessing is coming to you, it's not just coming back out. They stole it one to 
it's not going to be one to one ratio look at how the bible says it he said if a thief be found a thief stole and be found he said if he's found it shall restore sevenfold so by the time they are vomiting them it's not just one blessing now that blessing will not be multiplied by seven he said he shall give all the substance of his house but if this thief be found he shall restore sevenfold proverbs 6 31 proverbs 6 31 say father father every power holding my blessing vomit them sevenfold vomit them sevenfold vomit them sevenfold vomit them sevenfold in the name of jesus i'm hearing someone you have lost connections you lost some connect some very choice connection very choice connection maybe the act of men your ignorance or demonic power i don't know how it happens some link relationship that should be profitable for your advancement connection the lord is saying i'm restoring sevenfold the contract is coming sevenfold somebody say i receive sevenfold oh he's coming back sevenfold the customer that you are supposed to to work with that you lost you lost that connection the lord said i'm re- i'm restoring sevenfold somebody Somebody say, say, I say, I receive sevenfold, sevenfold, sevenfold. The Lord is said, I'm restoring sevenfold. Receive it now, receive it now. Somebody, you are just joining us now. Hear the word of the law. What you have lost is coming back sevenfold. A connection that will advance you that you lost sevenfold is being restored now. So, somebody say, I receive it. Say, I receive it. Sevenfold, sevenfold is coming back to you in the name of Jesus. Sevenfold is coming back to you in the name of jesus is coming back to you in the name of jesus every power holding down your blessing they are vomiting them look, look look at another scripture in isaiah 45 verse 3 is on your screen isaiah 45 verse 3 he said i will give you treasures of darkness hidden riches of secret places we're still praying this in prayer every of your riches every of your treasure that is in darkness that has been vomit that has been swallowed down that is there he said that you may know that i am and the lord that are called thee by name I'm the God of Israel. Say every of my treasure that is in darkness, every of my riches in secret places be released. Uh, mommy, say this loud. Say every of my treasure in darkness, every of my riches in secret places be released be released be released be released be released be released released. even those that you don't know about the the one that you don't know about you don't even know you are entitled to you don't know about you don't even know you are entitled to say every of my treasure in darkness every of my riches in secret places be released now be released now be released now be released now oh members of my congregation be released now blessings that should come to my ministry be released now testimony that should come to me be released now destiny help us be released now destiny help us be released now be released now my money be released now my promotion be released now my good news be released now that's what we are here to pray for so don't be ashamed to pray the prayer say be released now my blessings be released now in the name of jesus be released now be released now i'm hearing someone your land shall be married your land shall be married your marital destiny has just been released on this platform your marital destiny has just been released on this platform in the name of, say say powerful women your marital destiny has just been released on this platform every of your hanging blessing be released in the name of jesus be released in the name of jesus be released in the mighty name of jesus treasures my treasures in darkness uh, my riches in hidden places be released to me be released to me be released to me be released to me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Give him praise. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You want to pray. You want to now pray. Some people, they get the blessings and they lose it. <laughs> that will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Some people, they get the blessings, they lose it. You want to pray for preservation. Are you ready? Are you ready to pray this one? You want to pray against leaking blessings. Your leaking blessing. Some people they get a testimony, but it will relapse. In fact, they stood before the congregation and saying, Thank you, Jesus, and the testimony will relapse. <laughs> that will not be your portion. Your blessings will not leak. <laughs> oh, somebody say, say, my blessings will not leak away. Hey, say it now. Say my blessings will not leak away. It's a prophecy. Say it. Say my blessings will not leak away. 
my blessings will not leak away in the name of jesus look at it look at how the bible says it in the scripture you are going to use you know the popular scripture in ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 14 is on your screen say i know that whatsoever god does it shall be forever nothing can be put to it not taken from it (laughs) <laughs> and God does it so that men should fear before him. So when God gives you that child, nothing can take it away. God brought that blessing your way, nothing can hold it down. Listen, he said, whatsoever God doeth, do it, it shall be forever. Whatsoever God doeth, it, it shall be forever. Somebody say, my blessings are permanent. Can you say it now? Say, my blessings are permanent. Say it. Say it loud and clear. My blessings are permanent. Say it. Okay, type it in the chat. My blessings are permanent. Say it loud and clear. My blessings are permanent. Say it. Say it loud and clear. My blessings are permanent. Say it loud and clear. My blessings are permanent. In the name of Jesus. So, I'd like you to pray from the depth of your heart. Say, my blessings will not leak away. My blessings will not leak away. In the name of Jesus. My blessings will not fizzle out. 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 It will not leak away. My testimony will not relapse. Somebody say, my testimony will not relapse. Somebody join us to pray this prayer. We are at the end already. So pray it from the depth of your heart. Say, my testimony will not relapse. In the name of Jesus, begin to cover all your blessings with the blood of Jesus. The money has given you cover. You are earning a good salary now from your job. Cover the job with the blood of Jesus. Cover those children with the blood of Jesus. Cover that spouse with the blood of Jesus. Cover that marriage with the blood of Jesus. Cover, cover the house that you built, the many houses you have, the cars you have. Cover with the blood of Jesus. My blessings, my blessings, my blessings are permanent. My blessings are permanent. My blessings are permanent in the name of Jesus. And you know the powerful scripture where we are ending. He said. Proverbs 10 22 the blessings of the Lord makes rich and it doesn't make sorrow with it it doesn't make sorrow with it when it is God that gives you the blessing it doesn't make sorrow with it, it doesn't add no sorrow with it you want to you want to save sorrow away from the blessings that you have <laughs> you want to separate your blessings from the sorrow say in the name of Jesus my blessings will not be contaminated with sorrow say it now my blessings will not be contaminated with sorrow my blessings will not be contaminated with sorrow say it, say it. my blessings will not be contaminated with sorrow now, my blessing will not be contaminated with sorrow. A lady that has been waiting on God for a pregnancy for so long. Oh, I will be pregnant. Oh, God will give me a pregnant girl. And the, the person got pregnant and they announced, he said, ectopic pregnancy. And that took away her life. True life story. True life story. Blessing coming. Now adding sorrow to it. God doesn't want that for us. That I want you to raise your voice. Say in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Say in the name of Jesus. I delete sorrow. I delete every trace of sorrow from my blessing. Mommy, pray this prayer. The good news you already have. The testimony you already have. Oh, the blessing that you are sorry. Now, you are, you are, you've built your own house now. You are living in that land that you like. Listen, listen, listen. Say in the name of Jesus, I delete sorrow. Oh, I delete sorrow. I delete sorrow in the name of Jesus. Karapashu kaparianananas kahade. Every agenda of sorrow. Somebody pray. Every agenda of sorrow. Say, every agenda of sorrow for my family. Every agenda of sorrow for my home. Every agenda of sorrow for my blessing. Every agenda of sorrow. Every agenda of sorrow for me and my family. I destroy in the name of Jesus. Scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Some people are praying this prayer. Somebody is just looking and counting the people. Say, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Karoshu kapaya balaba katakata. Your blessings will not be contaminated with sorrow. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and your testimony will be full in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. I say your testimony will be full in Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name. We pray. Ah, the Prince of Persia has, 
has fallen. Look at Revelation chapter 12 verse 8. He said, and the dragon lost the battle and he and his angel were forced out of the heaven. <laughs> the dragon and the dragon lost the battle. <laughs> Mommy, the dragon lost the battle. Somebody type it, say the enemy has lost. Type it, say the enemy has lost. Say it, the enemy has lost. Join me as I pray right now. I'd like you to release your faith. That's why God, I didn't call myself on this altar of remembrance. Listen, and that's why we gather every weekend here because people are experiencing power already. Listen, I'm going to declare now, release your faith as I make the final prayer. Father, I give you praise. I worship you. I adore you because you are the most high God, the God that never changed, the Hallelujah of Israel, the King of Zion, the same yesterday, today, and forever. <laughs> the one that is able to do exceedingly abundantly all we can ever ask or think of. <laughs> the King of the universe, the monarch of all nations. We give you praise. We worship you. We adore you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for the blessings you have given to us. Thank you, Jesus, for the grace that you have released to us. Thank you for the good news that we are enjoying. Thank you for the good news that you have in plan for us. Thank you for the predestinated blessing. Thank you for the inheritance that has been ordinated against our life. Father, we now pray today. Our blessing that is hanging. Our testimony that is hanging. Our good news that is hanging. Our marriage hanging. Our money that is hanging. Our healing that is hanging. Be released now. Be released now. Be released now. Be re- everyone say amen now. Let your blessings be released. Uh. Everyone say amen. Let your blessings be released. Uh. Everyone say amen. Let your blessings be released. Everyone say amen. Let your blessings be released. Everyone say amen. Let your blessings be released. Everyone say amen. Be, let it be released. Let it be released. Let it be released. Daniel 10, he says, since the day you prayed, your prayer was heard. He said, but the prince of Persia withstood me. Oh, I raise my voice <laughs> in authority today. Every prince of Persia standing in between you and your blessing, let them perish today. Every pharaoh, prince of Persia, prince of Greece, holding down your blessing, let them perish today. Every power dragon that has swallowed down your blessing, I pray now, let them vomit them, vomit them, vomit them, vomit them, vomit them, vomit them. Let the strong hand of the Lord bring out your blessing the strong hand of the lord bring out your blessing bring out your promotion bring out your letter bring out your contract bring out your husband bring out your wife in the name of jesus bring out your children in the mighty name of jesus i declare <laughs> this blessing god has given to you will not be mixed with sorrow it will not be contaminated with sorrow in the mighty 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 name of jesus and god will say to you god will say to you god will say to you the barrier between you and your blessing is now removed in jesus name i say the barrier between you are now and uh, between you and your blessing is now removed in the mighty name of jesus i pray the blessing of your locality will not elude you in jesus mighty name we pray somebody declare this month we end on a good note for me and my family type it in the chat this month we end on a good note for me and my family in the name of jesus listen i pray that this month (laughs) <laughs> even before it closes down you will have something to celebrate in jesus name look at the book online that i always bring up the god who remember is a prayer book everyone on this line must have a copy and you can go on amazon just type the god who remembers and get a copy and i say if you can't afford it you don't or you can't you can just email me the details is below this video on youtube email and i'm going to send a free copy to you and you'll be blessed by it if you have a special prayer request you want us to join you you're going to see a google form below this youtube video below it yes a google form go ahead fill it there and the god of israel will hear you in the mighty name of jesus altar of remembrance is every weekend please share the link connect and let other people be blessed by it let's give our seat before we leave you see the details on the screen any part of the world where you're connecting you are in the u.s you're in canada use interact and sell you nigeria use the gt bank there in england you can use that bank that is there anywhere use the paper or go to that website highlighted in red i pray that no dry season for you and your family in jesus mighty name we pray your blessing your riches your money your bank account will not be corrupted by sorrow in jesus name in jesus precious name we pray thank you for joining the altar of remembrance god bless you somebody type it i will have something to celebrate type it i will have something to celebrate in jesus name